The snow kept falling across much of northern Utah today. Yeah, people in Ogden Valley really had to shovel out several times this week, and now there are some concerns about the snow's weight on roofs. We sent Jeremy Harris up there today, and Jeremy, clearing all the snow has really become a community effort. Community effort, Dan, and you will see why. Take a look. This is how deep the snow is. We're in Huntsville right now in, uh, in Ogden Valley, but this is the concern over here all of that snow up on the roofs. Now, we're, according to some forecasters we talked to today with the USDA, they say right now in Ogden Valley, we have snowpack totals that we should be seeing in the 1st of April. So they say it's way above average, and residents here say they've already been through a lot of clearing out the snow, but they know this winter is far from over. This is one task Chris Johnson has gotten used to this winter. We're clearing off a lot of snow, which is what we've been getting for the past few weeks. He's working on the town of Huntsville's ice rink, but it's been more than ice that folks here have had to pitch in to clear. The roofs are just starting to come into play now. You know, it hasn't been a big deal, but now a lot of people's roofs are getting loaded up. Some homes like this one are practically buried to their roofs in snow. Clearing it has kept everyone here busy. It just keeps coming and won't stop. Lacey's husband is a plow driver for UDOT. She says these last few weeks have been brutal. She gets about three or four hours, you know, for a break, for sleep, and that's about it. The snow in the valley is mild compared to just up the hill. This road to Powder Mountain Ski Resort is back open today after an avalanche closed it yesterday. Their resort has a 124-inch base, 124 inches. They report a season total of 312 inches, a welcome sight for skiers and even for the folks who call Ogden Valley home. Is this what you guys signed up for when you decided to live here? Absolutely. Yep, bring it on. More snow, the better. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, we'll be telling you more about what this means for the water supply come spring. We'll also tell you why state wildlife officials are concerned about the health of the wildlife in this area and what measures they're taking right now to help them. Back to you.